Yo ho ho, what's going on people? It's Guns Blazing once again, and I got some Bluff Trap Brodian for you today. If you don't know what Bluff Trap does, you can go ahead and read this. And Statue of the Wicked is just a trap card that, if you destroy it while it's face down, it summons a token to your side of the field. And how we capitalize on that is we summon a Machine King, or any tribute monster, but I chose Machine King. Some people like Air Knight, some people like Mephist. But I think the higher attack makes a big difference. Uh, it helps you get over walls, it helps you beat other 6 star monsters, and the 2000 defense helps it survive if it gets uh, ebola or enemy controllered. And one thing that's really important for this deck is card draw. So we got 3 jars and the Dark Mimic duo, and the reason we have so much card draw is because this card relies on Storm so much. And if you don't draw into a Storm, uh, you're not going to be able to pull off any of these combos. So we want to maximize our chance of drawing that. Another key card in this deck is Discblade Rider, because after you use the Storm, you're going to have a bunch of trap cards in your deck that could fuel his effect, get him to 2200, and we also got the Jars. So, if you don't draw into the Machine King for the Tribute on the on the token, that's fine because you still have 3 Discblade Riders to fall back on, and he's almost as strong with 2200. And of course we got the Wild Tornadoes and the Dark Coffin to fully capitalize on the Storm combo. Uh, I used to have two Dark Coffins in this deck, but I thought it was overkill, so one will one will be fine. So this deck is a work in progress. I tried a lot of things with it. I tried Air Knight, I tried Mephist, I even tried Magical Hats. and Because uh, Magical Hats gets these uh, Wild Tornadoes and Dark Coffins out, but it didn't work out that well. I think this is the strongest version that I have right now, but uh, if I can improve it, I will, and I'll show you guys. Anyways, have yourselves a good one. Peace out. Yeah, it's the same guy. Whoa, lad. That is a hand. It's a hando dando. Sergeant Olek. Let's just set that. It's gonna be like, ooh, Sergeant Electro Pinarino. The best thing in the world. Can't do anything about that. My monster's effect activates. Double pin. Very scared. It's gonna hit me up for 3,200. It's the only bluff trap I'll get to use this game. Trapperino, Storm. So let's get rid of this. What is this? Windstorm. Nice. Interesting. Alright. Wicked token. I ain't joking. And let's summon a Prismatic Machine King. Bonus points. Let's just set these. Because why not, yeah? Jackarino. Goodbye. There you go. And then Wild Tornado. Once he triggers Sleight of Hand, I can just Wild Tornado that off. Twin Burrell. Oh no. 25%. No! Gucci fan. It's this jar. Actually, no, it's never a good idea to jar first. Should wait for his turn to end first. It's whatever. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal, you feel? I think sleight of hand triggers every 1500. So even if this attack went through, that's still 100 short of triggering the sleight of hand. The hand o dando. Wow, another twin Burrell. No two heads. That's what I like to see. So go ahead. Let me draw a card. Feed my hand. Feed my ego. Okay. He's realizing that he needs to trigger sleight of hand. 
That's not gonna happen. Boy. Got the Dark Coffin Storm combo coming right up. One dank Coffin Storm combo coming right up. Burrell, see you later. And he has a choice of discarding his hand or uh, destroy his twin Burrell. Interestingly, he chooses a twin Burrell. This guy's going inside. Doesn't matter. Sphere Bowl. This guy's all about the Sphere Bowl. I think his icon is Sphere Bowl as well. But that was a bad move because that made it so that he couldn't trigger Sleight of Hand. At least if he let me attack, he would have had a chance. He drew into Machine. Tia Gardner. I'm ready to wow, no dual standby. That's something different. Mm. It's probably life cost zero then. That's my turn. I draw. Come on out. I summon a monster. Sergeant Elect. Okay. You'll be pinning down, but it's not really gonna matter. Wild Tornado is uh, meant to be comboed with Storm. Okay, so no Storm so far. Let's just summon Disc Blade. Call it a day. Actually, Jerry would have been a better play. So he has a Spear Bola. He uses it. If you don't use it, you lose it. Here goes this blade. Rip in peace. Yay, Dark Reed. That's what I like to see. Deck thinning. Attack this boy, please. No more Ebola. Good, good. That face down card be. Let's just draw cards. Get that. Let's get those jars going. Another disc blade. Yeah, probably gonna summon that. Go disc blade. Get it popping. Dark unique. This is scaring me. It's life cost zero. Gonna attack anyway. He needs two abyssal designators to pull off the Cyberstein, so I think we're still good to go. Get that jar going. Ooh, Econ, that was the perfect pickup, so if he tries to cyber us next turn, that's all we do, so. Let's tribute. Let's also pump up Disc and attack with Disc first, because it could be Ladybug. Get in there, Disc! Disc a braid attack! Oh, that's still lethal for me. 
It's time for you to oh no, he has Karibo. He top decked the Karibo. Nice one. That is my turn. Yet. My turn, I draw. It's fine. He still doesn't have a way to trigger life cost zero, so still win next turn. And if he, even if he does, the econ's gonna screw him over. But I should probably storm this away. Is that another card, please? Do it. something show me something okay that took a lot of processing power from switch that guard down to defense mode. okay let's just storm it away storm it all away guarantee the guarantee the V guarantee the W That's Econ, his best play is to tribute take. But that still won't be enough. If it's anything else, there's nothing they can do. Right, that's game. Disc. Let's go all the way inside. Triple. Triple jars. I set my card face down. That's minus three on the deck, baby. That's some deck thinning. Thinning is winning. I summon a monster in attack position. Let me battle, let me battle. Get my hands dirty. Big shield. Why do you like that card so much? That ends my turn. It's my turn. I draw. I just need Wild Tornado Storm to get rid of this. My turn's over. Into my trap. Draw. Or Machine King. Actually, no, Machine, Machine King won't do it. Just draw cards. Let's start a chain my going. Here's my <laughs> trap oh, baby, a triple. There's a Storm Marino. That's the boy we all need. Uh, actually, wait till next turn to Storm. Because I want to get a full clear on this, otherwise it's going to be difficult. It's not guaranteed that we clear the Gardener. So I'm assuming he's going to be on the defensive, so I'm just going to flip up Dark Mimik. Surprise present. Dude, I am not gonna fall for your surprise present. I'm just gonna use Storm on it. BES Big Core. Whew. He's serious about this one. I'm, I'm curious to see what that is, but. It's gonna get stormed away. So let's activate Bluff Trap, actually. Save Dark Coffin for a next uh, next opportunity. I'm not using your surprise present, bro. I am, I am the 
jam breeding machine. That was what it was the first time I faced it. That's why I'm not falling for it anymore. This uh, can be in defense mode because I'm gonna sack this one for Machine King. Let's see what Dark Meek pulls. Actually, I should have done the Dark Mimic draw first. Um, yeah, let's just summon Machine King. Pretty sure he has an Ebola in his hand because he had two. Yes, two. No Ebola. Okay, so he has one counter left on BS. Only one battle left on that boy. If he attacks this, it's bad for him. That's his last counter. Okay, so I'm gonna Dark Coffin Storm this one. Or I can Dark Coffin Wild Tornado Storm. Coffin and Wild Tornado Storm? Yeah, sure. I think I can seal uh, I can seal lethal with that. But if it's enemy controller, then it messed up. So, yeah, that, that would have been the combo. Sings in who on two of my face downs. And then, surprise present, force me to take Jam Breeding Machine. That's the, that's the mindset behind this deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made it so that Wild Tornado triggers first. So that he has to discard a card in his hand. Because that's how, uh, that's how the chain link goes. Jam Breeding Machine. What a concept. Other one is Card of Sanctity. So, you can either surprise them with Jam Breeding Machine or Card of Sanctity. And, uh... So if you pin them with Ching Zengu, and then you put Card of Sanctity on the field, they're forced to activate it, or they can't play any spell or trap cards, and then, yeah, they're forced to use a present, and then discard everything on their field. What? Why is it raining? It's raining outside. It's supposed to be 22 degrees. It was supposed to be the official first day of spring. Actually, no, that was like a month ago, but it's finally getting warm. I'm gonna go outside and play some basketball, then it just starts to rain. Until it's arena. Attack, attack. Attack and don't look back, Jerry. Get in the paint. So he has a Karibo in hand. It's like a skull layer deck. Doesn't discard any monsters, that's good. That ends my turn. My turn. Draw. Storm decks just uh, generally have a good matchup against uh, these kind of decks with Skull Lair, these banished decks. Because we just have so many options with Storm. Destroy their uh, all their continuous. So when I use Jar of Greed, feed the need. Ooh, Wild Tornado. Good pickup. That's a swell pickup. Gross Ghost. Turn off uh, prompts for now. It's gonna be annoying if you ask me to chain Jar of Greed every opportunity. So I'm just waiting for the storm that it can go all the way inside. Skull Lagio. Okay. 
misgivings. Could have dealt with that with Skull Lair, but I was kind of waiting for a storm. Either way, it's fine. I don't care too much about that, Jerry. It's not a huge problem for me. Storm Arena? No, it's just another wild tornado. But it's still decent. Might as well set one now. Now the question is should I flip so that I could draw into a tribute and then tribute and then attack? It's a play. But I think I'll just leave it as it is. So I think I'm gonna jar flip Dark Mimic next turn. Could be a thing. Wow, this guy's greedy to get that skull lair fuel. He's greedy for it. Chaos zone. The Chaos Emeralds! That's gonna be a problem if he uh, fuels that as well. Hopefully, we get the storm very soon. Is he gonna skill air this off? Yeah. It's fine. He only has five cards left in the deck, too. What's he gonna do once all of this gets stormed away? Who knows? Finally, going aggro, though. Finally going aggro. I attack with my monster. Look upon your doom. My monster's effect. Dark mimic. Not quite what we need. But we still got one draw in jar, so Let's see how that works out for us. Don't have to jar until our turn, actually. So there's a disc blade. Disco Braid. And yeah, let's jar right now. Get a storm. You need a storm. One in three chance to get a storm. It's a wild tornado. Okay, so. I just said this then. Should I set Econ? Probably not. I don't care. Just wait it out. Everything's over once I draw into a storm anyways. And I mean everything. Like, everything is over. Nothing will survive. Ooh, Dark Necrofear. Scary. That's actually very scary. Oh, snap. Nah, but he's... he's Gonzo. His Necrofear will be Gonzo. Where is the storm at, though? You're really not gonna give your boy a storm? Three storms and seven cards. Come on. Give your boy a storm! Here we go! So it's either Bluff Trap or just Storm. I mean, just Wild Tornado. I'm just gonna do Wild Tornado. Cause why not, yeah? 
card I least care about is Chaos Zone. So, Skull Lagio can go. Chaos Zone can go. Let's get these two wild tornadoes popping. Get out! Get off the field! Wait. Alright, so that can only target face up monsters. So if I set a card this turn, it won't be able to do anything. Are you sure you want to pull out more cards from your deck, bro? Deck is looking kind of thin. Okay, Dark Mimic. Eh? Let's just set Displayed. Set Econ. Call it a day. Bluff Trap I can activate next turn. Dark ne Necrofew doesn't do anything because my cards are not face up. So he has two turns to win. Three. Three turns. Possibly have another storm coming up next turn. I should have set Wild Tornado. But it's okay. Let's econ that. I get another storm. And I get another storm to keep me warm. It's just a disc blade. That skull lair is gonna be a problem. I set my guard face down. Come out! I summon a monster in attack position. Yeah, it's a second skull lair. I activate my face down, come. And I think he has enough for both Mephist and Discblade. Actually, no, he doesn't. Because two of these are traps. But that does boost up his monster to insane amounts. Okay, let's end turn. No, let's, uh. Let's end turn. If he tries to use Skull Lair to fuel up this guy some That's more. I'll just destroy Skull there. This game is a lot closer than it should be because I've misplayed. That's not, go not going to go through this blade. So there's two storms left in the deck. Doomsday Horror is gonna go through this blade. It's fine. Just give me another storm, please. Please. I just have to make it so that he doesn't win next turn, and then we win the game. Storm? There we go. Okay, so Bluff Trap Arena. It's time to go. Storm. From my hand, See you later, I alligator. Well, let's kill Vale. Kill the lair. He has a Kalibo in hand, but I'm not really too worried, so I'm just gonna take out Doomsday Horror. It's gonna reset his entire uh, remove from play. Doesn't matter. This is, uh, he can't activate Skull Air next turn, even if he has another one. Oh, that's gonna be a long animation. Let's get my fist out here. And the only thing we really lose to is Econ. Econ next turn. 
Because he does have the Sphere of Bola. There is to it. It's just storm fun. That's the third storm that we know. Goodbye. Good evening. Dark coffin. Let's see what he picks. Nice. Direct attack, Kajio. It's me with Ebola. Doesn't matter. Your Ebola doesn't matter. Your Ebola has no power here. Deck out, Vic. 